Hey guys, welcome to The Beautiful Diaries. Today I'm going to be talking about skincare. So if you're anything like me, you know that when it's fall and winter and the weather starts getting really cold, that can be very detrimental to your skin if you're not moisturizing it properly. And I've had firsthand experience with this where my skin just feels tight and itchy and it's super uncomfortable, a little bit embarrassing if it starts to flake. So I'm here to try and help you guys to find products that are going to be good for your skin. I have very sensitive skin. This is what I use and it leaves my face feeling hydrated and soft and supple. So let me show you what I use. First of all, I have two different face washes that I like to use together. And the first one is the Olay Foaming Face Wash in Sensitive. Um, I feel like this is a really nice, gentle face wash. It's um, a nice lather in your hands when you wet your hands and you apply this. Um, does it take off all the makeup? No. It's basically just a very gentle, basic foaming face wash. So in order to take off the makeup, uh, makeup what I use is just a makeup remover towelette. And this, um, you can try out all different types of brands. I just have the basic, you know, um, Target, um, what is it, generic brand. But there's Pons, anything that's just going to remove the excess makeup, and then you apply the face wash. So actually, I would do this first, and then apply this. Now, um, since this is very gentle, um, it sometimes doesn't do the full job. So the way I like to do this is I'll switch up. Every other day I'll use the Olay, and then when I don't use the Olay, I'm using Boots Cold Cream Rose, and it looks like this, and you can also get this at Target, and it's just a heavy cream, like, um, type of thing that you would put on your skin, so you would take a little bit onto your fingertips, um, rub it in between your hands, and then you want to apply it to your face in upward strokes, and when you do that, you leave it on all over your face for a good minute or so and then you'll take a nice damp um, towelette and wash it off and that's also a good wash for your face and that one because it's such a thick cream that you're applying to your face um, I feel like it just leaves it so moisturized they also have a milk lotion that's great to hydrate the skin but this one I feel like since it's so thick and it is a cream and not a lotion it'll give you so much more moisture so I'll use this in the morning, the cold cream, and then at night I'll use the LA or vice versa. But I'm not using this one twice in a day and this one twice in a day. Like I'm switching it up so that way um, it keeps my skin hydrated and fresh. Now for um, when I want to exfoliate, if you have a lot of dry flaking skin that you need to remove, I suggest St. Ives. I feel like they have so many different um, exfoliators that you could choose from, but the one that I like is the green tea scrub and I just have the 99 cents travel or you know trial size one but it goes a long way because I'm not using this every day I'll probably use this like once a week or twice a week so this one clears breakouts and reduces redness I also have redness um, so this one really helps in kind of reducing that and it's oil free it does have salicylic acid but it's not a strong dose of it it just kind of helps to clear out the skin um, and I'll apply this like I said once a week and I'll just put some on my hands rub it in it has little micro beads and then wash it off and it kind of just leaves my face really clean and that's great so for lotion because obviously after you p apply your face wash you want to have some kind of extra hydration I use the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion, and it's for all skin types. This one is a lightweight um, hydration for everyday use, and I do. I use it every single day. Um, I have for a very long time. They also have the moisturizing cream, but this one is not so heavy. I feel like if I have a moisturizing face wash cream, I don't want to have a moisturizing face um, lotion. I mean, a face cream. I want to have a nice moisturizing lotion that's a little bit less thick. You don't want to be applying too much stuff to your face because if it's sensitive and dry, you know, it's going to start clogging the pores. This one does not have SPF in it. Um, SPF sometimes clogs the pores, so what I'll do is just leave the SPF um, for my makeup, and then the face products, the skin care, is what I'll just focus on with no SPF. This one you can get at Target. They have a bunch of other types. They have like a sensitive skin one, but this one is pretty sensitive in my book, and it's been working for me for a very long time. 
Um, if I need, if I have extra dryness during the day that I don't have this big lotion to, um, you know, help me out with, I just have this in my purse and it's the Eucerin Calming Cream. And you can kind of use it as like a spot on, you know, if you have a dry patch or <clears throat> a red spot, you can just put a little bit of this on there and it's a calming cream. It's a daily moisturizer and it just helps to prevent the dry, itchy skin. Sometimes I'll have dry, itchy patches right along the hairline and I just put a little bit of this and it really helps to soften my skin up. And it's great for relieving that itchiness during the day. Um, finally... The makeup that I use um, after I've done this routine it would just be the Revlon Color Stay makeup. I feel like it is a nice foundation that covers very well and it doesn't irritate my skin. I have to be honest, I've tried MAC and it just really irritates my skin. I've tried Bare Minerals, just leaves me very, very um, broken out. So this one does not um, irritate my skin, it's hyper hypoallergenic. Um, it just stays on very well. I'm wearing it right now, and I've used these products this morning, so I feel like it's just giving me a nice overall glow to the skin. So I hope that this will help. Um, let me know in the comment section if you've tried some products that are working for you. And what's great about the products that I just mentioned, that they're all drugstore products, so it's not like you need to go out and spend $70 on products um, unless that's what you want to do. I prefer to find products that are affordable, that are, you know, easy, accessible, and work really well, and those so far have been great. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope that your skin is going to start working better for you. Mine too, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.